making a chicken spaghetti squash. So it's going to be super macro friendly for all of you who track your macros. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy it. So let's, let's go ahead and get started and show you guys what you guys need for this little recipe. First things first, we're going to um, gather around all of our ingredients that we need. And first ingredient that we need the most is obviously the spaghetti base. And what we're going to be using is squash. And for those of you who don't really know what squash really is, it's just this like circular and yellow and, and it actually has vitamin A and fiber. So it's like a win-win situation and it's very fulfilling. So after you have your spaghetti squash, what you're going to need next is shredded parmesan cheese yum so obviously you're going to be getting your fat from this parmesan cheese and the parmesan cheese that i got has nine grams of protein and seven grams of fat so it's actually not that bad it's not that high in fat it's kind of normal for cheeses and it actually has protein in it as well so it's like a win-win situation which is great you're going to need literally like a little handful of some green onions to put inside of, well not inside, but like whenever you make it, you need to like put it in while you're making the um, spaghetti base, which we will get into later on. Next ingredient we are going to be needing is a little bit of olive oil. Garlic is another thing that you're going to need for this recipe, so just go ahead if you have some garlic you're going to be needing three of those so go ahead and grab that garlic so we can mince it all together now that we have all of our ingredients we are going to go ahead and start in making our chicken spaghetti squash so first thing you have to do is grab your squash and you are going to cut it in half and you're going to put both of the halves inside of the oven for approximately 30 minutes. Now for the chicken that we are going to put into the uh, spaghetti squash, I have my chicken breast right here and I'm just going to put three simple things in a plate and then put the chicken breast in there and then put it on, smack it on my pan. So here we just have lemon pepper. So we're gonna put some lemon pepper on it. We're gonna put some garlic and herb, just a little bit of that. And a little bit of some more Parmesan cheese. This is a different kind of Parmesan cheese, but we will be adding just a little bit of that just to give it a really great taste to the chicken. Once your squash is finally ready after those 30 minutes it has been sitting in the oven, you're going to take it out and grab a fork. You are going to continue using that fork throughout the whole entire process. Do not use a spatula or anything like that because of how thin the squash pieces are going to be once you pick it out. So you're going to grab your squash and you're going to grab that fork and you are literally just going to like scratch it off. Just like a scratch off or something. Okay. It's like bring the little pieces together and put it into a little container and set that aside. And there's going to be seeds in it, but you're just going to pick them out so you don't end up eating them while you're eating your spaghetti chicken squash. Next, you're going to grab your skillet, your pan, your whatever. You're going to heat it up, maybe put it at about medium so it doesn't burn, but you're going to put a little bit of olive oil onto your pan and let that sit for just a couple seconds. And then you're going to grab your garlic and put it on there and literally just like, just move your pan around and wait for the garlic kind of to darken just a little bit because you want it, you want that smell, you want that spice to just spice on up. After that, this is a very quick process also, so you have to do this very, very, very quickly because you do not want your squash to burn as well. So um, once you have your garlic and um, your olive oil in there, you're going to grab your squash I think. With that same fork that you used to take out the squash, you're gonna kind of just like mix it in there with the garlic and the olive oil. And then from there, you are going to grab your green onions and kind of just 
put them in there just like so and after that you're going to grab your one serving of parmesan cheese which is 28 grams of the cheese and you're going to put that in there as well to give it a yummy 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 taste to it and then you're just gonna mix it and kind of wait for it to heat up a little bit for just a couple minutes and then as soon as you're done with that you guys and as soon as your chicken is finished and ready to be eaten, you're going to slice up your chicken onto the spaghetti squash, and literally that is it for that. So it's super duper simple, and it's super duper good. The completed product of our chicken spaghetti squash, and it turned out so, so good. I feel like the Parmesan cheese gave it such a wonderful taste to it that it tastes amazing. And the chicken also tastes super, super, super duper good. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed cooking with my mother. And this was very, very good. So give it a try and let me know what you guys think down below. And if you guys like these type of videos, let me know. It helps me out a lot so I can keep on doing them. And if there's any type of recipe, any type of food, anything literally that you guys would like to see on Mondays as my macro Monday, let me know and I will do it for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next one.